Almost everyone knows the story of Adam and Eve. God creates Adam, then comes Eve, followed by curiosity, followed by banishment. Well, that's the short version. Many people have been fascinated by the location of the Garden of Eden and the whereabouts of the Tree of Knowledge. Some have speculated it may be in the Middle East by Lebanon or perhaps under the Persian Gulf. Some simply identify the spot in relation to Jerusalem, while others, like the Church of Latter-day Saints, believe it to be in present-day Jackson County, Missouri. Although the location may change, one thing stays the same. It's association with paradise, beauty, and happiness. Alan Millard has hypothesized that the Garden of Eden does not represent a geographical place, but rather represents cultural memory of simpler times. So how do we get back? How can we transform our neighborhoods into our own personal Garden of Eden? Has the apple ruined us to our core? Or is there still enough time to plant some seeds of our own? This documentary set out to explore three topics in the Edison neighborhood in hope of answering our question. We focused on poverty, violence, and health. And here is what we found. What would my community look like if? What would my community look like if? If there was no crime. If there was no gang violence. If there were no homelessness. What would our community look like if every child in this community had a safe place to live? When you ask an outsider about the south side of Kalamazoo, it's not uncommon for people to mention drugs, alcohol, and violence, which, on their own, could be anywhere in the world. That being said, this particular area is definitely no stranger to these three. Luckily, in only the short span of three years, those numbers are decreasing. This particular street, Hayes Park, is known to be one of the worst streets in the area, and whether it wanted to or not, recently it was living up to its reputation. So on Hayes Park Avenue, you might not expect to find this. This is a playground that was built in memory of a young girl who accidentally died in a fire. It sits as a small sanctuary for kids to be kids. A space much needed when you look at the tiny gap between the houses here. It's the small things like this that remind us we are human. Small, breakable, flawed humans. And those in this community that know this are trying to help those who don't. It bothers me that we have situations set up to keep people in poverty. Things that they seen was places like Renna Center, uh, Little Seizures, but they didn't see other places. We got more liquor stores than we have, like I said, librarians or uh, schools where kids can go to to learn about auto mechanics or any educational skill that you can find a liquor store anywhere. I think the biggest issue on the south side is the lack of jobs. I say how much you earn in society is based on how much you learn. And most of these kids come to this program, they want to have a better life for themselves. It's going to require some patience, it's going to require some persistence. We don't live in a society where you can walk out of high school and into a manufacturing job. The gang is an alternative for some of these kids. When I was younger, I dealt with it the same way they did. I got violent. But as I became older, I realized that ain't going to get me nowhere but either locked up or hurt. And if they think they're in poverty, then they're going to entrap their mind. So I try not to really focus on that, but I mean, it's evident. I mean, you can't, I can't go halfway up this way and see nice stuff and then go halfway down this way and see things starting to just deteriorate. The court system does a very poor job of when kids are ready to age out of our system. We don't provide them with any degree of services at all. And what we know is that the vast majority of them, when they leave the system, are not ready to go on to the world and become functional adults. As long as we continue to treat the illness and not overreact to the crime, I think we'll see a reduction in the number of people living in poverty. I think a lot of people have just lost hope, and I would just encourage them to really connect with someone that will help them um, make a better life for themselves. I like to see newer houses in the neighborhood. I would also like to see um, more community programs for the young people. It's going to take a community to come together, work together, um, come up with some measurable goals. I know that there are a lot of meetings going forward right now about the problems, but there needs to be action behind it now. We plant seeds and hope something will grow. To change a community, its inhabitants need to. And since a community is really nothing more than a shell for our home, we should take care of it. Are you?